hello there welcome to the channel and welcome to new system test one uh, as you can see I've got a new control panel so this is the Chubb Zone Master 108AT um, so no, it's in other words a rebrand of the um, of the Kentex Sigma open the door here yeah so it's in other words a uh, Kentex Sigma that has actually got Sigma written up there so uh, yeah it's a very nice control panel uh, I got this for a really good price on eBay and it also came with um, these two and a smoke detector a cool point and some spare brake glass as well so uh, yeah it's a very good deal um, so for today we'll be testing all three zones um, so yeah, so we've still got the same zones in the same layout as the old system. So zone one is the front bedroom multi sensor. So that's just my ESP multi sensor. Uh, zone two is the smoke detector above the panel, and uh, I've actually changed that out for the sharp one, as you can see. So that's cool. And um, yep, and then zone three is the manual call point. So yep, so here's the panel. Um, hasn't got any faults on it which is good um, so yep uh, I, I'm yet I've yet to sort um, the sort of cable management out for this yet because where the whole knockouts were I've sort of had to put electrical tape over them at the moment um, but I'm going to get some 50 by 50 trunking um, to put all the zone and sounder cables in and then this is going to move uh, the um, main isolator spur is going to move to the top and I'm actually going to get a one of the fire alarm key switches uh, instead of this so it will be the proper key switch the red key switch and that will have a bit of conduit so yep yeah, so that's going to be redone uh, that's the new panel it's very nice and uh, I have actually got three new devices so uh, yeah so the first device here as you can see is the fully on universal call point so that's quite cool and it has actually got a glass element in it one of the ones that came with the panel the second device is the Cranford controls VFB LED beacon so that's quite cool uh, that is on sound circuit 2 um, for the time being and um, yeah the reason why that's on sound circuit 2 is purely because it's a much shorter cable run than running it from here and then over there again. So, yeah, second new device is this. This is a CTEC Active uh, Voice Sounder Base, as you can see there. And uh, yeah, so th that's quite cool. And then underneath that is just the ESP multi sensor, as usual. So, yeah, um, so the first device we're going to test is the uh, fully in call point. Um, so I'll let the uh, sounders activate for that one so you can hear the voice and see the Cranford Controls VXB flash and um, and then after that I will disable the sounders um, and I might actually put it into test mode as well but we'll see so yeah so first I'm going to get the key for the call point and uh, we're going to test the call point um, I'll let the voice activate on the sounder so you can hear that and then um, I'll silence the alarm and reset the panel. So, yep, so let's test this now. Um, just a warning, the sounder is quite loud so just bear that in mind. So um, yep, activate that now. So yeah, there we are, it sounds quite cool, and um, you also saw that flash there. So yeah, so I've reset the call point, uh, so we can actually um, reset the panel. Let's just put the keys back in here before I forget. Ugh, can't get the key, there we are. So put the key back in there so we don't lose them. So yeah, so um, we reset the panel. Uh, actually no, we'll leave it in alarm. 
uh, let me turn the sounders off uh, very simple on these Sigma panels to do that you literally turn it press mode to get to that and then press enter and that will isolate the sounders there we are so the sounders are now disabled as you can see um, it's quite interesting actually because on the on some generations of the Sigma like this one here it just says sound default uh, uh, but on most of them it says sound default slash disablement so yeah that's quite interesting so it just says sound default on here so it's not that much of an issue but it's just something I've noticed so yeah um, so they're off so now we can test this detector up here the series 65 I'll actually turn the uh, torch on as you can see that there we are that's a lot better so yep so this is the Chubb rebranded series 65 uh, it's going to spray a bit this in here I do need to get the artificial smoke still um, that will be the next thing I buy there we are silence that and there we are as you can see zone 2 uh, smoke detector above panel so yeah um, that is that um, now we'll test the motor sensor with the hair dryer so yeah so here we go let's test this a few moments later here we are let's silence the panel so there we are that's it that's all three zones tested uh, the reason why that the reason my zone freeze LED is on continuous uh, is because that would normally indicate that you've silenced the sounders but obviously where we've turned off the sounders um, you know there's no sounders to silence which is why they're still flashing so yep so there we are um, that's all three zones tested um, yeah very nice so I really do like these panels uh, I've wanted one for quite a while and uh, yeah I just saw a really good deal so I thought, why not? I'm gonna, I'll uh, go and get one. So yeah, so I'm just gonna let these clear out for a minute or two. Uh, wait for the um, aerosol to clear out that one, and wait for the other one to cool down. And then we'll come back. We'll re-enable the sounders, and we'll reset the system. Okay. So yep. Yeah, so it's now been a few minutes. So um, the uh, sensor should now. Uh, cleared out so we can now reset the panel and we can now also now re-enable the sounders and there we have it okay so uh, that's about it for this test um, I hope you enjoyed the video um, so this is the first test of the Zone Master 108 AT from from Chubb or rebranded Kentec Sigma. So yeah, um, turn the torch on so you can see. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as I say, uh, in the next system test, hopefully I'll have a bit of trunk in here and all this lot will all be neatened up and yeah, it'll be all done proper. So um, yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.